Hi there friends. Today I have a huge basket full of face products that I'm going to be decluttering. There is concealer, primer, setting spray, powder, and foundation here. Lots of foundations, lots of concealers. So we're going to get into that. I did want to ask you if you guys would also like to see my foundation collection besides what I'm decluttering. So if you're interested in that, I have mostly drugstore foundations that I use. And then I do have a few thrown in there of high end and luxury. So let me know about that. I hope everybody is doing really well. Please give this video a thumbs up before we get started. That does help me out a lot. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by. Please subscribe. I also want to say to everyone, and I kind of have to do this each time that I do declutters is I do not give my makeup away to anyone other than family and close friends. And if it's salvageable, I will donate it. But most of the time, foundations, concealers, those kinds of things can get cross-contaminated with the wands and different stuff. So I don't donate those either. I just kind of get rid of them. So that is how this is going to go today. I hope that you do enjoy it. Let's get into the video right now. Of all of the categories, I don't know why, but this is the hardest. I think it's because you put the most money into these foundation products, but they've got to go. I have a ton of high-end foundations in here. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation, way too heavy. This is from number seven, the Stay Perfect Foundation. This one was too dry for me. This one is from Physicians Formula. This is their organic wear. This is their new one, the Elixir. This one did not give me any sort of coverage and it broke apart on me. Don't like that one. This one from Essence is a tinted primer. This is a very, very thick product. I don't know what they were thinking when they made this. It just, it feels like that thick heavy silicone and I'm just I'm just not into that from osmosis this is their foundation I was hoping that I would love this but I, this one breaks apart on me as well I think it's my dry skin same thing with this Stila one I was really excited about this but it didn't give me the coverage I needed and it broke apart part way through the day Milani is just way too heavy and on my dry skin the two-in-one foundation looks like a cakey mess then the same thing happens with this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. Oh my goodness, this is very, very full coverage. If you're somebody that needs that, you might really like it, but you can see that this is old. It's been in there a long time and it just does not look good on me. This one is one that I actually have another one of. I have it in porcelain and I think this is the second one over. This is the Light Illusion from Flower Beauty. I love this foundation. I just wish they'd come out with better colors. They have such a very a short-sighted shade range for the lack of a better word. I don't like their shade range, but I can wear it in the very fairest color and I do have it, but this color is off for me big time. This one is from e.l.f. I like this foundation, but this color is really bad for me. And since they're not that expensive, I just thought I'd pick up another one in my right color. This one is the Skin Perfect HD Foundation from Koki. I absolutely love their other one. Can't remember what it's called right now. I'll flash it up on the screen for you guys. The other one is perfect for me, but this one is for dry skin and I just cannot wear it at all. Then the L'Oreal Infallible. This is so many people's ride or die foundation from the drugstore and I can't wear it. It just does not work for me. I wish it did because it looks so pretty on so many people, but it doesn't look good on me. This is the NYX Born to Glow. This one fell apart on me as well throughout the day and just was really sad about that one. Okay, a few primers from Altruist. This isn't a primer, this is sunscreen. SPF 50, this balls up like a mad product, whatever you wanna call it. Don't like this one at all. Even if I use it on my arms, it balls up, it's terrible. And from Doll 10, this is their foundation. This one is awful too. They have a terrible shade range. They just have like, I don't know, maybe six colors. Horrible, horrible color and just does not look good on the skin whatsoever. This one from e.l.f. is the Poreless Face Primer. If you're somebody that has large pores, you might really like this. It's a lot like the Essence, but not as thick as that one. I just can't wear these on my hot, flashy skin anymore. It just doesn't work. That kind of goes along with this e.l.f. Beauty Shield. This again is an SPF in it, but it's really thick product and I just, I don't like that one at all. This one is a super drying product. This is the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. This spits at you, so be careful, but it doesn't work for me. <laughs> and I've got a ton of different concealers. 
Concealers are usually my jam, you guys, but when I find one that doesn't work, I am not gonna hold on to it for any more than I have to. So let's start off with everybody's favorite. These are the Instant Age Rewind Erasers. I have mine in the brightener and the neutralizer, and this breaks apart so bad on my skin. Everybody loves this. I just can't figure out why it doesn't work on my skin. So those are going. This one from the lasting, the lasting Finish from Rimmel, I actually love this. It's really good. I have used that for years, but this is really, really old. You can see the top of it there. It's just gunky and nasty. Then the Maybelline um, Super Stay. This one is one that didn't work for me. It didn't cover very well, and it did break apart on me. Milani's is too thick for me. I can't wear that one either. It just looks cakey. And then this one is the wrong color on the Conceal and Hydrate, the Makeup Revolution. I do like those if I mix them together, the hydrating and the regular one. And I think this is the same thing. So wrong color on those. This one, if anybody knows how to use this and you can tell me, tell me please. This is the Bare Skin from Bare Minerals. I like this consistency. It's not too heavy. It's quite nice. Actually, it's the same thing with both of these. This is from Zoeva. And this is their Authentic Skin one. And I I like the, the formula on both of these, but they don't give any coverage. And it just within about an hour, it's gone. So I don't know if I'm just wearing those wrong or what. From Ulta, this kind of had the same thing. This one was really cakey and nasty though. This is their full coverage from the Ulta brand. This one is from Believe Beauty. No coverage for me on that one. This one is from Maybelline. Oh my gosh, this is the Fit Me that so many people talk about. I know that this is people's ride or die one too but I can't wear that one to save me. Doll 10, no coverage on that one. And then from Koki, these are the Be Bright ones. These are just too thick for me. So that's why I'm getting rid of those. This is a NYX one, same thing, too thick. This is from Flower Beauty, not too thick, just old, needs to go. This is from Makeup Revolution. That is a pot concealer that is just much too emollient and it breaks apart on me and creases like crazy. Then from Smashbox, I have their Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. This did not stay on for 24 hours and it didn't give full coverage, so I don't like that one. This is from Ofra. This is just a single of their banana powder and it's old and I need to get rid of it. This is one of my favorite products, but this but color, I think it's light 115, is just too orange for me. I'm way too fair for that, so I can't wear that one. This one, the Catrice Healthy Looking Powder, I like the concept of this, that it's one that you swirl together, but it's way too peachy looking on my skin. This is from Makeup Revolution. I love the packaging on this. I think the packaging is really nice, but this is way too heavy a powder for me. You can see how much came out. Too heavy, gives a white cast and a white flashback. From NYX, this is the No Filter Powder. I like this one, but again, a little bit too heavy for my skin and I can't use that one. This one is one of their powders that is in, uh, I think this is the banana powder. I think they're trying to dupe Ben Nye, and that is a beautiful powder, and this one is too for somebody that does baking or somebody that uses a lot of powder, but I just don't. And this one is just a sample I got from MAC, and didn't use it. This one is from Temp2. This is one that goes in the airbrush thing, and this one really is old, old, this one from Misha, this is beautiful, you guys. This is a really beautiful one, but it smells so strong. You're gonna love how pretty this is on the skin. Look at that, look at that glow, oh my word. It's so beautiful. I love the glow on that, but if you don't like strong perfume, you're not gonna like this. I don't like that. One heck of a blot from Soap and Glory. This one is way too mattifying for my skin. <laughs> I sound like, uh, what is it? Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This one's too mattifying. This one breaks apart. This one doesn't. Anyway, from Becca, this one is one that has dried out. I do not like this, Sam I Am. This is their under eye primer, and it just has never worked for me. It just made my under eyes feel greasy. From the Cream Shop, this is it. This is the powder from them. This is my last product. Look at how glowy that is. Isn't that glowy and pretty on my finger? But that's why I don't use it because it needs to be used as a highlighter and I have a ton of highlighters and that one just would not work if I put it on my skin. I'd look like a disco ball. All right, that was it, my friends. I hope that you did enjoy seeing everything that I decluttered today. Was there anything in there that you were surprised at? Did I declutter anything in there that you like a lot? I would love to hear that from you in the, in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for spending a part of your day with me. Take care of yourself, stay happy, stay healthy, stay hydrated, stay sanitized, and I will catch you guys all in my very next video. Love you, bye-bye.